Uh. Okay, I, <laughs> I don't think I want to open that door up right now. Holy shit. Okay. Sound like a booger. A radiated booger. Welcome back, everybody, to Rebirth. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are picking up uh, right where we left off. And the plan for this episode is to find a town and a trader, hopefully, and go from there. And we're also going to need some kind of a base uh, to get started with. Let's see. Let's check this real quick, except I'm, like, super encumbered right now. Uh, I'll take those. I don't think I want to take the rotten sandwich. And let's also grab... Some more bones there, too. Uh, we're not going to keep the nitrate. Okay. So, let's see. We are... We're doing okay on food and water, actually. Not too bad at all. Uh, health is reasonably good. So, the question now is, do we go north or... Uh, we go south. <laughs> that, that was easy. Because it looks like we have a town here. It is 1,700 hours, a little after, so we don't have a ton of time here. I wonder if um, the traders have the same time frame that uh, they do in vanilla. It's particularly, you know, that they open up at 4 o'clock in the morning instead of 6. That would be nice. Looks like a pretty decent sized town. What's that? Oh wow, that's a pig. Different looking than the, the normal pigs. Is it hostile or neutral? Oh, it's hostile. Okay, <laughs> let's go. It's a big ass rabbit too. Okay, so I guess what we should do is kind of try and stay on the outskirts of the town until we hopefully find a trader. Wow, this isn't this isn't just a town. This is a freaking city, man. City in the forest biome. What's that thing way out there? That big white thing sticking up in the air. What is that thing? My curiosity is piqued. Is that like a big ass water tower or something? Uh, you're going to stop right there? That wolf seemed to chase me for a long way. Oh, wow. Look at that. Damn. And, uh, we can make another one of these too. Oh, we have to use our, our, uh. Okay, so shift to zero. We have to use this to do that. Nice. Okay, so yeah, we we gotta we gotta figure out a base, and I'd prefer that it was at the tra trader. Okay, what is this? That's ten thousand hit point. Uh, okay, I, <laughs> I don't think 
<laughs> I want to open that door up right now. Holy shit. Okay. Sound like a booger. A radiated booger. Jeez, I can't believe how big this town is, man. This is awesome. Um, okay, so... Uh... Let's see if we can get by this guy. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Time to go. Time to go. All right. So, yeah, let's just kind of keep, I guess, riding around the perimeter of the city, and hopefully we come across a traitor. If it gets too terribly late, we might have to pull up somewhere for the night because I don't want to be out and about at nighttime at this point with Feral Sense on. I mean, I wouldn't even do that in vanilla, let alone here in Rebirth. That's kind of a nice house there. But I sure would like to find a trader. Just looking to see if anything showed up on the map here that we may may have missed. Here's U.S. Army post number seven. We're not going in there. That place is nasty. Well, I'm sure glad they gave us this bike right off the bat, or this would have been a lot more difficult. All right, let's go around over this way. That's a... Is that a doe or a fawn? It almost looks like a fawn. I know, um, you know, I'm passing a lot of mailboxes and stuff, but we can't keep looting or we're going to be completely filled up. And that's going to kind of screw us up. Is that wrecked over there? That might be wrecked. Well, actually, I guess if this mod follows the vanilla, then it would only be wrecked here in the forest. Yes, it is. Okay, good. All right, so um, I think what we ought to do then, uh, is that, what is that? Oh shit, it's hostile. It, it looks like, they look like German shepherds or something, as opposed to like a wolf or a, a fox or whatever. But what we should do is find a, a POI here close to the trader to hunker down for the night. Yeah, let's leave those guys alone for now. I'm interested to see all the creatures, you know, new zombies, new animals, all that kind of stuff that the mod has. It's going to be neat. All right, we got a pass and gas there. We got a Motel 7 here. Um, probably that pass and gas would be the easiest thing to secure for at least for tonight. Um, I don't know about this energy place. How strong is it? It's a, only a thousand hit points and there's 21 fucking enemies in there. Okay, we're not doing that. We could do the motel, but I think, yeah, I think it's going to be... Oh, look, the traffic lights actually work. How funny. They're red, though. <laughs> I think this passing gas is probably going to be our best bet just because we don't have a lot of time and we, we really do need to find a place to hunker down for the night. So we got five Zeeks to take out in here. Uh, all right, so let's, uh, let's get to it. Is that guy? Oh, shit. Man, those guys are kicking my ass. Zombie. Zombie Emmett.
All right, estimated two zombos left. I remembered in, uh, after recording the first episode, oh good, we got some ammo. It said there were two left, and that's an intelligence genetic thingy. It said there were only two, uh, there were two left, but there was only one, but that's because that's actually an estimate, so that doesn't mean that's exactly the way it is. Their dog back here. Oh, they're down inside there. All right, let's grab this. Oh, nice. Uh, actually, I want this ammunition too. I'm gonna take them out using as little ammo as possible. Oh, you're not dead yet? OG reports five targets purged from the passing gas store in the Biden Force. Okay. So that's a working workbench. Nice. Okay. Let's open this up. What is that? Oh, spark plugs and a wheel. Okay. I'm going to leave that stuff there for now because it's not really doing us any good at the moment. Uh, pliers. Okay, I think we need that for like our little workbench thingy. But I am like so encumbered right now. Can I make a uh, make a storage thingy? Uh, we should be able to do that. I think with our uh, with our, our toolkit thing. Okay, so this is where we're gonna hang out for for now at least. Not necessarily for the long term, but at least for now. So let's do shift nine and we'll just put this thing down. Um, yeah, right there is good. Okay, so I'm assuming that sets a spawn point for us. And if we open this up. We can use it to store some things. Enforcer shoes compared to, what are we wearing? Rogue boots. Yeah, the armor doesn't give you like the magic perk thingies that they do in vanilla. So um, that's light armor. This is also light armor, and it looks like they're exactly the same. And we can't scrap it, but we could sell it to wrecked, um So... Okay, so let's do this. Let's drop some stuff off in here that we're going to keep and not sell. And then uh, we want armor parts. What's that? Calcium chloride. We need it for activated charcoal. Okay. We're going to want that. We're probably going to, for the most part, want to keep all of this stuff, I think, except for that. That way we'll sell. Uh, we'll put the genetic thingy in there, all of that. Let's let's set, get a campfire set down so we can put our cooking pot on it. And let's just put that right over here, I guess. Okay. And let's see, it is 2026. There's, yeah, I don't think there's anything in here I want to sell. So let's just run over to Wrecked real fast here. Nope, don't do that. I'm so used to going in that direction. So we want, we want to sell the cash and the gas and the brass. Cash, gas, and brass. Okay, so this place is not invulnerable. I wonder if it's... 
Who's that? At least wipe that shit off your boots before you come into my shop. Yeah, I see your Try inventory. anything smart, and you'll get a new start. You gotta be the dumbest. Look, motherfucker. He doesn't I'm want cash. Overstocked on those. I guess he doesn't want cash. Okay. Um, I don't think I want to sell anything else to him at the moment. Well, don't let the door hit you on your Who way. Who is out. wrecked? George Rutledge, farming in South Carolina. Okay, you know what? I don't think we. Yeah, we have time. Uh, George Rutledge, farming in South Carolina wasn't ever easy, but when George watched his soybeans die from the new fertilizer, the GMO corn produced almost nothing. The new breed of boars broke through their fence, escaping into the countryside. Folks down at the Grange sniggered and called him Wrecked Rutledge behind his back. His wife, Grace, left him for Bog Bob Backwell. Um, faced <laughs> Backwell. <laughs> faced with a mortgage coming due at the end of the year and thinking maybe eggs could make ends meet, Wrecked traded his rusted equipment for a livestock trailer and headed out to Montana to buy some chickens. Coming home, not noticing how empty the towns were, how many cars were sitting abandoned along the side of the fog-choked road, he plowed into the back of a massive car wreck in the middle of nowhere, Missouri. Chickens scattered to the four winds of the land. He was delirious and raving when a scout party of white river traders found him. He runs a small farm for them now, and they call him Trader Wrecked. Interesting. A little bit of lore. Who are you? You're Billy Bob. Please come back when you've killed 50 explosive immune zombies. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, are these lootable? No, they're not. Okay. Let's get back to our... Let's get back to our little hidey hole here and make sure it's secure for the night. There's a dude over here, too. What's his name? Elias. May I see your inventory? Oh, he's got... He sells, like, magazines. Molten steel. Used to make class aura mods and global aura mods as well as forged steel. Requires a crucible to smelt in the forge. Well, these are missions. I completed this mission... Oh, that's cool. Okay. A rage panther? Oh, it's a companion. Okay. Crucible schematic. All right. We'll have to check all that out later. We got to we gotta get back over here. There's another dude over here, too. What's your name? Briston. Trade ammo, trade genetics, trade useful information. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk to him tomorrow. There's nothing in there. Okay, what I want to do is I want to remove this because otherwise Zeke's could possibly jump up there and get to us. And I have no idea how crazy it's going to be tonight. So let's just get rid of this. And... Yeah, there's nothing down here. Okay. How strong is this? Yeah, it's only a thousand hit points. Okay. All right. Yeah, so let's um, hop up here. I can... I can make a ladder, right? Yeah, I'm going to have to put... Well, actually, I can do it over here. Hammer and pliers needed. Oh, shit. Maybe I can't get up there now. Can I make... Here, let's do this. Uh, whoops. Can I make a building block? Back start. You don't have the necessary resources. How the shit am I going to get up there? I didn't even think about that. <laughs> can I... I can't quite... Hmm, is there a chair I can pick up? This isn't good. Hmm... Houston, we may have a little bit of a problem here. What I should have done is left the dumpster and pace, got on the ladder, and then broke it, but I had I didn't know I wasn't going to be able to... 
to get up there. Why? Okay, wait a minute. Why can't... Oh, because I need nails. Oh, are those in the bike or did I put them up? I think I left them upstairs. I really screwed myself, didn't I? Um, those are screws. Shit. Okay. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Let's pick this back up. I probably can't, like, make a door either, huh? Shit. Um. Yeah. All right. Well, god damn it. We might have to... We might just have to stay on the bike for the whole night and run away from shit that comes after us. If anything does. Because without nails, I can't get up there. Because I can't make blocks. And I can't... Um, you know, nothing's happening right now. Do I get nails from this? Oh, I do. Oh, oh, okay. We do get nails from that. All right, let's go... Let's go back over here. Close this door. Now, let's put um, that down. Can I can I make a ladder now? Wooden ladder. No, we need hammer and pliers. Okay, but that's fine. We can make building blocks. We make a building block, but that's all we need to get up there. That should be that should be all we need. Uh, where did it go? Oh, it's right here. All right, let's pick this back up. Let's close that. And you, I can actually pick you up too, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Whew. I thought we were I thought we were in bad shape there for a minute. Why is that red? What does that mean if it's red? Oh. Hold on. If we look at the map, does it show a bedroll? It shows a red bedroll. Does that mean anything or does that mean that's our spawn point? I'm not sure. Okay, um, so let's see. We've got our, we've got our uh, fire here, and what I'm gonna do is, can I use that for fuel? Yeah. Can what can we make for food? We can make this Purina's tamale hash. Uh, yeah. I I guess yeah. Let's make one of these. Interesting. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build some storage if we can. That requires planks, nails, and black dye. I guess we're not making storage. Is there anything... Any, any kind of storage we can make? Box? Hmm. Crate? Bag? Body bags. All right. Well, it sounds, uh, looks like storage is going to be at a premium. Hmm. There's those other nails. I've got uh, I've got this um, burning shaft mod. Can you put that? I don't think you can put that on these, can you? No. All right. Well, um, I guess this is all all we have for storage. That sucks. 
We have this, but as soon as we loot it, doesn't it like disappear? If we leave something in it, will it stick around? Yes. Okay, we just have to make sure we don't fully loot this. And the trader didn't want that cash. I don't know why exactly. Um. So, yeah, I get... Well, here, I want to keep that stuff with me because I need it to repair the bone knife. We'll put the can in there, the pipe. Just, you know, again, things that we aren't going to immediately need. Empty water. I wonder if I can get water, like, out of just lakes and rivers and that kind of thing. A wood log. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. It's better than bad. It's good. Okay, well, let's store it for now. We'll store the shotgun shells. They're not doing us any good. We'll store the scope. Can I make, um, like, uh, whatchamacallit? Charred meat? What kind of recipes does this have? You make bacon, boiled, or grilled, so we can't make charred meat. And then steak and potatoes need whatever this thing is, like, I don't know, what is that, or like a pressure cooker or something? But we need a cooking grill to make grilled meat. And we need boiled water to make raw meat, or boiled meat, okay. Cooking fat, raw meat, and eggs. Cooking fat. All right, we can make that. Yeah, let's just make that, and then we can... I think we'll be able to make some bacon and eggs. That gives 15 food, 5 health, and 5 water. Let's go ahead and consume that right now. Oh, I like that the stove turns off as soon as it's done cooking. Instead of just continuing to run. That's nice. Alright, we can make a bacon and eggs. I want to see if I can make some more arrows with this plastic. We only have 10 rounds of 762. Okay, that gives 16 food, 1 health, and a stamina bonus. Let's, let's go ahead and take that now, and that will pretty much top off our food and get us a little health back too. We are kind of thirsty, so why don't we take one of these distilled waters now? I do want to keep the jars with us or the or the glasses. Um, you know, so we can get more water. And what's that? Activated charcoal. Okay. Let's leave this stuff in here as well. Because that's our storage for now. This is reminding me of Ravenhurst and Undead Legacy, where you can't just make a storage box, you know, uh, without extra stuff. That's okay. We can we can deal with it. We just got to figure it out here, right? Uh, we don't need to carry the coffee around with us for now. Okay, what's that give us? That gives us cloth. Uh, we have more iron in here. I'm just trying to consolidate stuff. And yeah, this these nights are dark. Thank goodness we found that helmet light, man. If we didn't have it, well, we still have our, we have our torch too. In fact, why don't we? Set that down so we have some light. All right. Let's make... Uh, let's put down our little crafting thingy. And I want to make some plastic veins so we can make some arrows. Holy shit. That's a lot of plastic veins. All right. Um, so we have some stones. We have some sticks. So let's make 22 stone arrows. Okay. Well, that's good to know, man, because then you're not relying upon feathers for that stuff. 
We'll put this extra fat in here. And we have two bandages. So maybe we'll put the cloth in there too. And the golden rod and chrysanthemum. It, it's a little difficult to know what to prioritize because I'm not used to, you know, to the mod. I guess we could put this on here for now. And I want to keep that stuff with me. 44 arrows. Very nice. All right, guys. Well, there isn't really a whole lot more that I can do right at this point. So I think I'm just going to stay quiet, hunker down, and then uh, when the morning comes, we'll go back over to Rex, see if we can get a job, see if we can loot his shit, talk to the other NPCs. So there's like... Uh, there's another NPC back here, and I think maybe we talked to that one. I don't know, but we'll go, we'll go check out Wrecked in the morning and see what to do next. Um, the other thing I wanted to look at real quick too is, so I guess we have genetics. Okay, wait a minute. Where are the? Okay, genetics must. These are like perks, right? Like in the vanilla game. And to do these, you have to have 10 of, uh, okay, sexual T-Rex perk books can be purchased or found in event loot crates. Uh, but don't we have to use these thingies? Use this to craft a mod for one of the following. One to sexual T, plus one to sexual T-Rex. So can we just do that now, or do we have to have more, something more? Uh, recipes. Oh, here we go. Okay. Looks like we need a forge for that. Oh, it takes a hundred of those things. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to have to accumulate a whole bunch of those things. Does this give you the the blurred vision like it does in vanilla. Each level of iron increases his time. It doesn't say that it does. Well, maybe we could, should keep that for an emergency situation. Anyway, um, we are... What are we? We're the soldier. Which is this one. So we have expertise in axes and machine guns. Specialize in axes. Oh, okay. So interesting. Okay, so it looks like this does level based upon action. You know, like the more we use it. So maybe we should be using the axe as our main weapon, our main melee weapon instead of the sledgehammer. I see. Okay. Yeah, so we're already at 78.9% of the way to the initiate. And then I'll increase our damage, penetration, reload, and durability. I see. Okay. So, yeah, I didn't realize that. So, I, I think we need to be using the axe as our melee. Um, Maybe what we could do, though, is we could use the sledge to try and get a knockdown and then hit them with the axe. I think maybe that's what we should do. So, and do I do I still just have the one uh, mod slot on this? I have two mod slots. Well, what we could do is take this off of here and put it on the axe. Uh, wait a minute! Didn't I just put the? Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it won't let me do it though. Shit. <laughs> All right, well, in that case, I guess we do leave it on here. Nope, sorry, wrong thing. All right, so I think what we'll, our MO will be then is that we'll, you know, if we're going to melee a Zeke, we'll knock it down with this, but then we'll get the axe out to pound on it so we can start leveling, leveling that. Now, to repair this, I need just just duct tape, that's it? Don't I have some duct tape? Hmm. 
I have some glue. I thought I had one thing of duct tape somewhere. I guess I don't. All right, is the recipe for that the same? Yeah, it is, but we just have to make it in here. There we go. Okay. Now, I want to I want to make sure that lasts though. So let me just look at this again. If I go repair, it just seems to indicate that duct tape's all we're missing. Oh yeah, it says that right there. Duh. Okay. Read read the uh instructions there OG so we'll keep this but I'm not going to use it until this is pretty much broken because you know we want to make it last as long as possible this we should be able to repair, repair with these bones which we can do okay that's done um this is going to need uh machine guns it's going to need oh that's right we looked at that didn't we look at that earlier we need the weapon or the firearms repair kit which I don't think we have all the materials for that. Let's take a look. Firearm repair kit. Yeah, we need steel. Um, Okay, so we can get that. We have a wrench, right? So we can get that from, like, street lights, assuming that still works in the mod like it does in vanilla. Right. Okay, I'll, I'll figure it out, right? <laughs> we'll eventually figure all of this out. Um, is this lootable? No, it's not. We could probably take it apart for stuff. But, yeah, I think what I'll do now at this point is just chillax, wait till morning. And then uh, when morning comes, what we'll do is we'll we'll actually finish looting down below. we got a few more things we can loot. And then we'll go over to Rex, um, talk to that, that one NPC that said he had information or whatever, and see if we can sell anything more to Rex and get a job from him and go from there. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it is morning uh, that we had an uneventful night. Nothing happened. Didn't even hear any zombies. So that's good. Um, what we're going to do is, uh, I mean, we need to loot and all that, but the problem is that we don't have a lot of sp space to store things. Um, we could store some things in the vehicle. Uh, actually, yeah, we definitely could do that because it looks like there's quite a bit of space in here. Um, you know, the downside of that, of course, is that the Zeeks could, uh, you know, destroy that. So, um, let's harvest this stuff here just to get it out of the way. And, um, we can also, we should be able to use this stuff too. In that crate. Oh, you know what? Uh, I think in this mod we can... Oh, yeah. We can pick that up. Okay, cool. Can we pick this up? Oh, nice. All right. Very good. Very good indeed. Okay. That's going to... Can we pick this up? No. That's going to help a lot, though. Let's also grab those pliers, too. And maybe, what do we do? Put them in there? I think we have to craft the hammer and uh, plier thing. Okay, that's great, though. We, You know, we can pick it up, and that way we can, you know, bring our storage up to here. I, I did make one more block here, too, as you can see. So let's just... Take the storage stuff, and we'll just stick it along here. I like that a lot because that means we can, you know, uh, we can start looting and have place to put stuff. So this we should be able to pick up too. So why don't we do this? Why don't we grab everything out of there and pick it up, and that way we can kind of move it over so it's lined up with that storage. And then I'll throw all of this back in here for now. Uh, we want the, we want to keep the bike with us, of course, and the the blocks. Okay, um, I'll I'll worry about inventory management and all that stuff later because uh, I want to get going here. Let's keep that down there. 
Uh, we don't need to take that stuff with us. The gas. Is that the usual stuff? Molotovs. Oh, we don't need oil. Well, that's useful. Okay, so those are actually going to be easier to make than they are in vanilla. A defense pillar. Huh. Okay. Um, let's... Now Now that I realize we can make Molotovs and they're not that expensive, why don't we... Uh, why don't we hang on to that? Guess I was going to sell it. Okay. Let's just leave that... Uh, no, let's not. Let's get the blocks with us. We might need them. Now, if I take these apart, can I get more nails? Yes, nails and screws. Oh, that's great. Okay. So let's do that. And I'm just going to leave that stuff in there. I, I don't I don't think we'll store anything in the truck just because here again, um, there's a risk that it could get destroyed. Yeah, we'll take the stones. Apparently we can't pick up trash bags because they just get destroyed. But what I want to do for the rest of this episode, we are kind of running out of time here. But I want to at least go talk to the rest of these traders and see if we can get like a job or something. So, you are Briston. Let me see your inventory. What is all this stuff? To, oh, these are... Okay, so these are like skill books. Oh, Jesus, they're expensive, though. A DNA boost injector. Use this device to inject yourself with any DNA boost. Uh, Okay. I'm not exactly sure what a DNA boost is. Is it, is it those mod things we can make? Uh, we'll, f well, we'll figure that out. Deployable mine shaft schematic. This schematic unlocks the ability to craft a deployable mine shaft and related extensions. Set this unit down to deploy a mine shaft. Hmm. Okay. So. All right, so those are perk books, but they're way too expensive for us to be able to afford right now. Trade ammo? Oh, wow, look at that. That's super useful. Okay, dude, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. The only ammo right now that's doing us any good is 7.62, and we do have some some other types that we can trade for them. I love that. I'm already loving this mod. It's just that my head's totally in vanilla mode, so I gotta I gotta get out of vanilla mode, you know what I mean? Um, let's see. We want to keep the pipe. Oh, the other thing I was thinking, too, is that we need to... Yeah, we can trade the... We can trade that, and I have some shotgun shells somewhere. Where are they? We should probably take this with us just in case we need to set it down and make like a bandage or something uh oh here they are right here okay so we'll go um why is why is the sky black i just noticed that <laughs> i don't know i guess it takes a while for the sun to come up um all right so trade ammo I want um, 7.62 ammo in return. Uh, okay, so gotcha. I like that. That's awesome. Okay, trade genetics blueprints. So those are those thingamadoodles that we have. Uh, you tell me what type of blueprint you want and we'll see what what you have to trade for. You'll get a better exchange rate if you increase your bartering skill. Right now I can offer you a 50% exchange rate. Keep, you, keep what you don't want to trade in your tool belt or locked inventory slots. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Trade for DNA boost. DNA, okay, so these, okay, so these are the things that we probably use that injector thingy for. Huh, okay. And then what is this? Useful information. Shortcut keys. Useful information part one, part two, experience using pipe weapons. Uh, 
pipe machine gun will help you train the following skills. Okay, we need to actually make a pipe machine gun because, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep the M60 repaired. So I, I think we'll, we'll do that. Okay, let's go back to useful information part one. Okay, perk books. I usually have a number of perk books, perk books for sale should you wish to improve some of your skills. These books will require you to increase the associated genetics level before you can read them. Okay, I have a few schematics for sale when you reach the required levels. Check back with me once in a while. I may have a few special missions to offer you. You can pick up a number of things in the world, press and hold E. Okay, so we just figured that out. Um, could be containers, a fridge, empty ammo pile, could be a crafty component, gas barrel. Okay, good. Uh, you have been given a number of starter missions, which you can complete in order to learn a given crafting station schematic. I have. Additional missions are available at your trainer should you either fail one or require something more advanced. Another option is to salvage a crafting station you have found in the world using a wrench or other salvaging tool and then repair it. Uh, I don't know. I didn't know I had starter missions. Continue. Okay. Let's go back to useful information. Part two. Man, it's keeping out for these guys. For sure. They are looking for you. Be careful as they will get tougher as you move from one biome to the next. They want to kill you for your stuff, but if you kill them first, you can get their stuff. Survivals, survivors, people aren't all bad in the apocalypse. There are still a number of good women and men who are willing to lend you a hand for a price. You'll have to convince them, though, so make sure to increase your charismatic nature. Vehicles, most working vehicles have already been taken, but you might be lucky enough to find one that can be repaired. Oh, okay, so that's like Undead Legacy, then. Uh, finding parts for them is a matter of looting the right places or salvaging other vehicles. Of course, you'll need to hotwire them once they are in working condition. Rare ores. If you get your hands on silver, gold, or diamonds, you may want to keep them. They are used in a number of recipes and useful for trade. Class ores. If you're training in one of the aura-based classes, you should really craft an armor mod for that class right away. Okay, we that's the one that gives us like the double shot or double damage. Misery. This place makes your life difficult in a number of ways. Be sure to explore your skill window, but more specifically the misery line, as you won't be the only one that grows stronger. The misery line. Okay. Um, so he seemed to indicate Oh, okay, so we can we can actually buy a firearm repair kit if you know if we can't make it. That's good to know and it's not super expensive. Um Hotwire kit, okay, vehicle repair kits. Interesting. That's just the same thing, right? Yeah. Okay, he's he seemed to indicate that we had we have quests, but where are they? I don't see any quests here. Challenges. Redeem Redeem Tutorial Challenge. What? But it's not there's nothing there, so nothing to redeem. I don't know. Um let's go back here for a minute. So Crafting skills. I wanted to make a pipe machine gun, and it looks like we can actually make a blue lever pipe, a, le, a level, sorry, pipe machine gun. And that uh, unlocks. Wait, what? Are you saying I have to have all of these to make that? No, it says it unlocks. I guess we already know that. Hmm. Okay, so so it's telling us what class specializes in this and it, if it's available to us. I think I understand what's going on there. We have tier one, tier two, tier three, and tier four outfits. Interesting. Okay. Um, what is this? This is misery. Okay, that's what the, he was talking about. So. Uh, ascension. Zombies ascend as you level up. Don't think you're the only one who gets stronger. Okay. Natural selection. Zombies evolve through natural selection as you weed out the weaker ones. Uh, rebirth. Zombies that you kill grow more resilient and can live again. All right. Well, hopefully that shit doesn't happen anytime soon. 
Global achievements. Thin the herd. Smells like bacon. Green thumbs. Level one objective. Hundred planted crop harvesting. Okay, so these um these apparently become available to us as we progress. Okay, I think I'm I'm picking up what what's getting put down there. Good vibrations, healing aura. We get that by killing like nurse zombies and stuff like that. Okay. Vitality aura. Synthwave. What's that? Upon completing the entire set, you will be granted the following bonuses when using your Walkman. I have, I have a Walkman? I guess I don't have one yet. I wonder if... Hopefully that none of that stuff's copyrighted or we won't be able to do it. Okay, and then these are the class ones that we looked at. Okay. So I'm starting to kind of get the feel for how all of that works. That's pretty cool. Um, We can't loot that vehicle, huh? We already talked to you and you said... What did you say to us? Oh, these, these are missions, right? Okay. Oh, God damn it. They're expensive. Guess we can't be doing that anytime soon. Okay. Um, but we can use these. Oh, nice. Okay. So we have usable crafting stations at the trader. And we can harvest stuff here because it's not it doesn't have that mag that magic protection bullshit. A damaged old blue VM car. So let's harvest this corn. Now am I gonna get axe skill for using it on anything, or do I have to specifically kill Zeke's? Probably using it on anything would be my guess. What's this? A shredder. It requires a propane tank, it looks like. Interesting. What's this? Table saw. Oh. We need to make wood planks in order to make actual storage bins. But it looks like we have to put gas in there. And I, I do have uh, the saw blade. It's back at the base. Okay, so that's good to know. Uh, who are you? You're Rael? Hello, friend. Please come back when you've reached level 15. Okay, guess it doesn't want to talk to us until we're level 15. Fair enough. Can't loot any of that stuff. So they made it so you can't loot the traders. How interesting. Nope, none of that's lootable now. Yeah, that's, um. I, I mean, it's, re it's reasonable because it... Always was kind of cheesy and vanilla that you could loot them, their stuff, and then sell them to them. <laughs> um, all right. Very good. Well, guys, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. And then the plan for the next episode will be that we're going to just start going out and about and looting. Uh, I don't know how jobs work. Apparently, Wrecked doesn't give us you jobs. Keep clear of me. So, sell to anyone, even morons like you. So, yeah, he doesn't apparently have jobs for us. I so we'll have to figure that out. You're the one that doesn't... Yeah, we have to kill explosion zombies. There used to be stuff up here to loot, but again, I don't think we can loot anything at all. Nope, we can't. Okay. So what we'll do in the next episode is we'll just, we're will just we just going to start looting around the area. Um... And because apparently we don't have jobs that we can do it. It did. He did seem to say that he might have jobs for us from time to time, but it doesn't look like he does at the moment. And then we'll just go from there and see how things go. But I'm happy, you know, that I can pick stuff up and use it for storage because that way we can pretty much just start looting whatever the hell we want to, right? Do this, um, does this not have the lock on it? Oh my God. Look at that. I guess it doesn't. Okay. All right. Well, yep. Like I said, we will pick up right where we left off in the next episode and go from there. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode.